Okay, folks, Bill McKecka, Take Home Golf Pro, early on a Friday morning at Shoreline Golf Links. It's kind of nice out right now. A little cool, but I'm out here fighting mosquitoes, all for you, my students. Uh, I wanted to one of the things I'm seeing a lot of, and, and um, I understand it, but it's one. Of, I have a lot of people coming to me saying, "Bill, my swing is very inconsistent." And I say, "Okay, let me see your swing." And then I see a lot of this, and I say, "Okay, well, I can understand why your swing is inconsistent." Uh, so let's look at what's happening when I do that little stand-up move. I start at a height where I can hit this golf ball. Right, there's the ball, there's my arms extended, that's a good height for me to hit this golf ball. Let me move up a little bit so you can see the golf ball, there we go, okay. So now, if I, on my way back, with my low and slow takeaway and my hinge and cock, change my spine angle. So if you notice, I went from a spine angle of this to a spine angle of this. Look at what happens to my club. I start here, come back and stand up my right knee, see my right knee straightens out, and if I bring the club back down to where I started right here, notice I've moved a good 8 to 12 inches above the golf ball. So what does that mean? That means from somewhere up here to that ball, I need to drop back down 8 to 12 inches. Just try doing that a couple of times and see how good... Uh, could you, how, how many times you can do that correctly? I mean, an eight to ten, uh, eight to twelve inch drop, to, to make sure that this club finishes exactly right there. Kind of tough. We always say in golf should be pretty easy because the ball's standing still and it's not moving. But just think about it. If my body is moving up and down, it's kind of like the equivalent of that ball bouncing up and down and me trying to hit it. Kind of make it difficult. So what I tell my students, and both, and, and this happens on both ways. Uh, number one standing up on the way back and notice when you stand up your shoulders here get very horizontal and some of my students I've mentioned that hey you're getting horizontal in your backswing that's what's happening you're standing up here then what it also happens on the follow through as I approach this ball you know we watch TV we watch our PGA Tour pros and they hit the ball really high and some of us our brains say hey I'm approaching this golf ball I gotta do something to get this up in the air so what we start doing is standing up and try to lift that ball up in the air and it, the result of that is I've changed my my spine angle once again and when I start lifting up at the end I, I hit above the equator of the golf ball I hit ground balls so how do we get over that how do we st not do that I have my students imagine they have this giant you know three foot long weight sitting on their back in other words when, I'm, when I start like this, there's a big giant weight sitting right on my back here, and I cannot stand up from this position. What I can only do to cr try to hit this ball is rotate underneath that weight, hit the ball, and then rotate underneath that weight again. Notice I haven't stood up. The other thing I have them work on is bringing uh, the low and slow takeaway. Basically, a lot of the people who stand up quickly are the ones who immediately raise this club off the ground on the way back. The first move is they take, from, coming back from the ball is to start lifting up. Let me show you that from this angle here. So instead of this low and slow takeaway where I almost feel like I'm dragging my club on the ground back to here, they get this move immediately. This right hand cocking and jumping up and there goes my whole body lifting up. So what I want to work on is the low and slow takeaway. That's where I'm bringing this club, letting the body almost bring the club back. The left arm's attached to my body. And as I turn back away from my target, my club is coming back along the ground. Notice when I do that, my body doesn't stand up. Here's the next position where people stand up. Instead of just cocking the wrist up this way, they get their whole arms lifting up. You can see how my right elbow lifts up toward skyward here, that pulls my whole body up. Now, now next thing you know, my I'm back here in this horizontal position with my shoulders. So let's work on low and slow takeaway. And to get the club up to this position here, I just want to cock my wrists, okay? Notice that doesn't require any standing up on my part, okay? Now, when I get to the golf ball, I don't want to think about, I want to think about my club moving along the ground after the ball. So not only am I going to be thinking about hitting this golf ball, but I also want to think about my club staying on the ground after the golf ball. 
PGA Tour pros take their divots anywhere from four to five inches in front of the golf ball. So what's that mean? That means they're coming, hitting the ball, and then the club continues on the ground along here, then they stand up. So I want you to, you know, there's a lot of people are in a big hurry to get this club up to the top of their swing for some reason. I mean, you stand over the ball, and then there's this little go in your brain, and the go just says, do that. I mean, you rip back with your hands, you stand up, and it's causing inconsistencies. <laughs> My friend Mosca is over there. So anyway, I want to keep that weight on my back, come back low and slow, cock my wrist to get the club up, not my arms. Keep the club moving along the ground. How is that for a nice big divot? Hope that helps you. Once again, this is Bill McKicka, Take Home Golf Pro. Stop standing up. There's no reason for it. Thanks. Bye.